My name is Bob Steffen. I was a judge of the district court in Sedgwick County, Kansas for 13 years and then uh, was Attorney General of the State of Kansas for 16 years. Uh, at one time I was the president of the National Association of Attorneys General. Bob, what do you do now? I work as a legal consultant uh, on consumer protection issues uh, and I travel to different states uh, uh, on uh, issues that affect corporations and consumer protection. You've been involved with the judicial system all over the state of Kansas then. Mm -hmm. How long have you been practicing law? 50 years. <laughs> they, they had an article in the Kansas uh, Bar Journal uh, lawyers have been practicing 50 years. It, it was pretty hard to believe. You were a district court judge in Sedgwick County, Kansas. I was. Initially I was appointed by the governor uh, and then I had to run in the next election. In November, uh, the voters in Johnson County are going to have an opportunity to vote and determine whether judges should run for election. And we're talking about district court judges. Do you think that would be a good idea? No, it's not a good idea and certainly there are good judges in the elective system as well. Uh, as the merit selection system. I think judges could still be fair, but what would the public think? If they go to court and some lawyer is giving the judge $10,000 for his or her campaign and they've got a case and their lawyer didn't make any contributions, it, it's not a fair and balanced system to have to raise money. I know three, I read where three people in, in Pennsylvania raised a million dollars in running for the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. That's obscene. Individuals in the political process that run for office are generally involved in a popularity contest and in specific issues. That shouldn't be the standard by which a judge is determined. A judge should be determined on his or her fairness, their judicial temperament, and their background. Those qualifications need to be judged by people who know uh, what's going on in the court and, and, and not by special interest groups that are one issue oriented and want to get rid of some judge just because they didn't like that judge on a particular issue. Merit selection uh, is so much so far superior to the elective process because citizens and those who practice uh, before the court examine the backgrounds of individuals who have applied for the position of a judge and the odds are you're going to end up with three candidates that merit that position.